Hey guys, Skip here again. Uh, ordered some more packs from Z, Z Power. And uh, the 3S packs, looking good guys. Nice internal resistance, about, about the same as the other ones, six or so. Uh, I have another little test, I'll show you the, the stats here in a second. And then uh, I'll show you how these benched out and everything. I didn't have the 14, so, uh, the 4S uh, packs yet. And I still don't. You're not going to believe this. I'm not having very good luck here. But um, the 14s, the, uh, the 14.8s, 4S packs that I ordered, they're labeled 14.8 4S packs on here, 2200, 120C. They just felt a little on the heavy side. I open them up and I look at them. And, uh, you know, they're labeled, they're wrapped and everything, you know, 14.8 volts 4s battery right everything looks fine except they're really hefty and i'm looking there's six cells on each of these and i'm thinking to myself okay that's a good trick four cell battery how do you divide four into six i don't think that's going to work so uh, i i put a voltage checker on them because i was pretty sure already and yeah darn sure they're six they're six cell packs six cell 2200s here guys for the price of four cells if uh on amazon in the uh and the pair pack if anybody jumps on them quick enough. I did send a letter to Z and let them know about this, but I'll be sending these back to Amazon. I don't have a use for 2200, uh, for six cell 2200 packs. Even if I bunched them up, then they'd be just a little bit too, you know, oblong and hard to hard to use for, for anything. So um, they're gonna have to go back because I really need the four cell packs. But I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. But so far, uh, uh, the three cell packs take a nice full charge, just like they're supposed to, unlike the Hoovus that, that we put the thumbs down to. So, so far, they're getting a thumbs up, except for this. I'm sure the company's going to want to know about this. Um, can you imagine somebody that didn't know when they looked at it right away that it was a six cell pack and thought, you know, oh, wow, it's just a big four cell pack and put it in their little plane and started their their ESC on fire. So, um, you know, burn their plane down, burn the house down, who knows? Anyway, thought the company would need to know about this. So I'm sure they'll, they'll act on that. They're uh, a pretty reputable company from, from what I understand as far as the size and everything and all the stuff that they've got. Uh, you know, they've been around for a little while. Uh, so we'll get this straightened out, guys, and then we'll check out the rest of uh, the, the four cells too. Um, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Four cell, huh? Four cell pack, look at the size of this thing. 349 grams. It's supposed to weigh about 243. Okay, this is Skip signing out. You guys have a great rest of your weekend coming up here. And I should say it's Friday, so uh, have a great weekend and hopefully the weather cooperates. And we'll at least try to get these things out and fly them now and test them out because I've been interested in, in testing out the graphenes anyway. So stay tuned for the bench test on these, and uh, happy flying. Bye for now. Hey guys, Skip here, and I'm going to save you the time of uh, me doing an unboxing and everything. I've just gotten the two packs of the Z. Graphene 2200, supposedly 120C. I really kind of doubt it. Let me show you something real quick. Genzase, known for their reliability and their accuracy, along with uh, Admiral Motion RC's Admiral batteries. Uh, they're pretty on the spot with their C ratings and everything. This is a Genzase 2200, 25C. Note 25C on there, right? You can see that okay? Yeah, 25C. Okay, look at, note the, note the size, similarity here, the same, okay, same size, look at the thickness, same, put them on top of each other, they are identical, so you tell me are these really 120C, I highly doubt it, but I do have to say that I'm happy to, and I should say I'm, I'm happy to say, they took a full charge, guys. These were, they arrived, they had a 3.85, uh, or 3.84, 3.85 per cell surface charge on both, okay? Resistance values were very reasonable, 667, 667, about, as, about the same as the other ones. These are the graphene packs here, guys, okay? Now, 
from a, a 50% charge, they took a le oh, darn near 1100. Okay, darn near 1100. Now I brought them back down and put them in the storage, and this is what we're getting. This is what we got. Okay, we got down to the storage voltage. The time it took and I got out of them pretty much what they took so I gotta say I think they're gonna be just fine I don't know how much of a punch they're gonna have because I really don't think they're 120 C but uh, I think they're definitely an improvement over the Hoovoos and we'll be checking back guys because I'm getting a, a two pack of the same batteries the Z in the 14.8 volt uh, four cells Okay, and those would be the 120C, supposedly. And, but we're going to check those out as well, and I'll let you know how they're doing. Okay, in the same video here, so this is Skip, signing out for now. Hold tight.